Hello everyone, here are my nine beauty tips for 2022, specifically designed for women in their 40s, 50s and 60s, but they can be used by everyone. So I'm reading from my book. So the first tip is you need to focus on doing the things that you think is fun. And if you don't really know what you want, then you have to sit in silence and try to identify what it is that you want. Um, that's, um, that's the first tip because, uh, you need to do what's fun for you. If you do what's fun for you, you automatically become beautiful and attractive. Promise. The second tip is don't, uh, sacrifice in a way that makes you feel like shit yourself. So in the end, if you do that, if you keep on sacrificing you will in the end feel that you know no one's appreciating you and then you'll become resentful you will become toxic negative and in the end nobody will want to be around you so what you need to do is to actually focus on having fun and then people will want to be around you uh, and the a third tip is uh, now you have come, uh, it's, it's like you are approaching death in a way. So you can't waste your time. Like your time, time is more precious than ever. And you have to acknowledge that you are a creative being. So you can't have stupid systems waste your time. Like you have control system making you do stupid shit. And you don't have time for bullshit work. And um, actually you have to break free from that. So you know, uh, this was my actually my last tip and I'm going to say it once more. <laughs> That's my ninth tip, but you know, say no, okay? So my fourth tip is work on yourself. Work on your self-awareness. You, uh, uh, you have patterns like we all have. Like we, brought, we, we were brought up to respond in, in specific ways to get re rewards from our our parents and our, our pairs. And some of these patterns are good and some are, are, are less so. I mean, your strengths are also your weaknesses. What's important is that you're aware of when you're being reactive, when you're starting to, you know, become angry or triggered, then, you know, notice, identify and stop reacting automatically. Um, and also like my fifth tip is that, okay, so this is ne will necessarily happen all over again because you are the way you are, you know, come on, it's not that easy to change and we will keep on doing the same mistakes. So when you do that, be mindful of the people around you that are close to you and what they're saying and, and actually listen and say you're sorry, apologize and apologize sincerely. Don't just say it to say it because everyone will notice if you are being sincere or not. And if you don't do that, you'll break uh, important relationships for you. And, uh, and another thing is also the sixth tip is like, don't always think you're right. Consider that what other people are saying might also be at least part of it or like from their perspective that it might be relevant because if you understand them, you will have more, you will more easily understand them. And that way you may all more, the, the more easily, it will be, will be more easy to influence them or to explain your situation too. And then my, was this the seventh or the, you know, the seventh tip is just generally slow down because this is my challenge that I do things more and more and more, uh, uh, quicklier and quicklier and then in the end things do not they're just it's going too fast and I'm, I'm not producing anything of quality and my life is just a, a rush and you know the the quality lies in, in you know doing things in a slow and thorough way so as much as you can try to slow down through meditation or yoga or do what's necessary to try to slow down in your life. And so the, the eighth tip is to 
try to love everyone and understand everyone. Because everyone comes from their own perspective and everyone wants the best. Everyone thinks they're right. Uh, and uh, everyone, like other people, even though they are a pain in the ass, they're irritated with with no apparent reason and so on. They don't think you notice. They don't think that other people notice that they're irritated. They think you you overreact or so. You you always have to see that they don't understand if they are being negative, for example. So try to love and understand everyone, and then. Um, I, one thing that I think also is important that I want to repeat as the, my ninth tip is say no if it's no and you know if it's no and do that more often. Merry Christmas. <laughs>